Welcome back to the channel, ladies. Thank you so much for watching today. We are going to talk about personal development. So this channel is for women over 50 embracing and navigating the second phase of life. So whether um, you're on your journey of personal development or you're just thinking about making some changes uh, in your life for your future and presence and the way you feel. Uh, so today I'm in talking with Nan Davis. Nan Davis is from Colorado, from Littleton, Colorado. Welcome back. Uh, I say welcome back because we've done several interviews before in the past on my other channel, my live radio show. So thanks for coming back. And so uh, welcome. Thank you for having me. So Nan, uh, when we originally met uh, for many years, she worked full time as a life coach. And so that's why we're talking about personal development today. But she is one of our ladies we celebrate over the age 50. And what is your age now? 69. 69. Okay. As of last Sunday. Okay, great. Yay. <laughs> All right. So, um, so as a, I want to um, give the ladies some tips on personal development, some, some tips that you can share. And then um, after that, I want to focus on celebrating you and the things that you've accomplished, not only as a life coach, but in other uh, areas of your entrepreneur journey and some things that uh, you do as, as a hobby to stay healthy and fit at age 69. So, okay, so personal development. If anyone's watching today and they're stuck in a rut, what is something that you would suggest that they that can kind of light the fire and get them excited about making some changes or some kind of personal development? Um, well, I think, Sherry, what happens is that sometimes we get in a rut or we get stuck or we think um, there isn't anything else out there for us uh, because it just depends. A lot of people don't work on personal development. And so what is personal development? Reading books, you know, in personal development with an author, whoever reaches out to you. Uh, I could make a suggestion and that person may not, you know, speak to you. Uh, however, it's interesting, all personal development books out there are all the same. They're just written in different words. Even mm -hmm. sales, uh, you know, uh, personal development, and some of it is Bible based. And, however, it all they're, they all say the same thing. They just write it differently. So find someone that works for you. And uh, let's say you want to make a career change or you reach 50 and you're saying, oh, my gosh, where do I go now? What do I do now? That happened to me at age 45. My husband and I, we have four children together. We're married 46 years. And I chose to stay at home in the beginning. And that was when women were out working you know, my age. And I, I used to feel so kind of inadequate when I would go to parties and things. And, and I think, oh my gosh, you know, um, I'm not, I don't have a career. Well, my career was the CEO of the Davis household is what my career <laughs> ended up being <laughs> for about, I'd say 10 or 12 years that I stayed at home with my children, our children. And that was a choice. And I had to learn to accept that. So I made a little humor out of it. And I'd say, oh, yeah, I'm the CEO of the Davis household. And I golf and I play tennis, you know, and things like that. Meanwhile, those women that were working were going, wow, I want your life. <laughs> so I, I made some humor out of that for me. However, what I did choose to do is start working on personal development. Well, what do I want to do when I grow up? I had no idea. I was a mom and a wife. You know, and yes, did I have a life before that? I sure did. And I just, you know, I was um, an admin uh, type assistant work is what I had done in the beginning. So as life went on for me and I did a retreat, oh my gosh, if you want to know where you stand in your life or how you show up, maybe do a retreat. That would be wonderful. I had a very powerful retreat actually when I was 45. And so that was one of the things I had done. And I had always read books on personal development. You know, how could I be the best that I could be? Or who am I? Still, you know, wanting to figure that out. And I think sometimes even at 69, I'm still <laughs> trying to figure that out. So um, anyway, so that's just a little bit of what happened for me. Uh, 
However, so I'll just tell you really quick. So personal development also works if you do a program. You know, uh, you kind of figure out who you are, why you're this way, what's my, you know, how do I show up? How do people see me? Well, if you want to know, just ask them and ask them to please be honest. <laughs> Most people won't be honest. So anyway, what I did, I ended up doing, my husband said, oh my gosh, I was on a girl trip. And my husband called me, he says, you have got to do this class. You'll love it. You'll really know what you want to do when, after you're done with this weekend class. And at the time it was called Size Seminars and they are still available um, nationwide and it's PSI. And you can Google that in your area. So I'll be brief on this. And so, um, you know, I came home from my girl trip and I was pretty much fine, but my husband was really adamant about it. So I took the class. I loved it. And there's so many people have so many different things going on in their life. We think we know what they're going through, or we think they know what we're going through. Uh -uh. Not unless you ask them and then you'll figure it out. So in the personal development class, I decided I wanted to move along and take this other three-month goal-setting class. And that three-month goal-setting class, there was a personal, professional, physical, and spiritual goal. Not uh, religiously intended, more from how you show up as an individual. Well, I learned in that class that I am a supporter, a huge supporter of people. And I'm also influential, which is, you know, la, la, la. I have a gift of <laughs> gap. <laughs> Sherry knows that. So uh, anyway, as um, so I um, took the three month goal setting class and we had to set those four goals and achieve them. And so I achieved all four goals. And in that time frame to help you achieve the goals, we had a coach, uh, a life coach, and they worked. They were on a volunteer basis. So we only got 15 minutes Monday through Friday. My time was uh, 545. I was never up at 545. <laughs> Maybe 7. <laughs> okay, AM. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, AM. <laughs> Anyhow, so you had 15 minutes. What did you do towards your goals yesterday? What did you do yesterday towards your goals? And what are you going to do today towards your goals for tomorrow? And that was the whole coaching process for me. And, and so that's having an accountability partner. Oh my gosh, it was so huge for me because I never had to be accountable to anybody but myself. My husband just let me do what I want to do. And I had a lot of energy and I got things done and he never questioned anything kind of thing. So I had to be held accountable. Oh, there were so many things. Mm -hmm. However, in that time, and I achieved those goals, I was just like, oh my gosh, I said to my husband, I know what I want to do. I want to become a life coach. And that's when life coaching, that was about 98, I think, 97. Mm -hmm. And that's when life coaching, you'd say, oh, I'm a personal professional coach. And they'd say, oh, what? what? <laughs> coach? You're a stalker coach? I go, no, personal professional coach. What's that? And I'd say, I help you achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. And they'd be like, oh, that's interesting. So that's how I, I got certified in that. And then with all my years of reading and doing the personal development type thing for my family, it went to fruition in my coaching practice. And mm -hmm. I was coaching people all along. Uh, I just wasn't getting paid for it. <laughs> yeah. so this and then you turn your passion into a profession. Yes. Yeah. And yes. when we met, um, the first interview was on live radio. But before that, you had done a little work with me. And I remember you saying this, and I, I tell people this often, <clears throat> to uh, kind of identify your um, different personality or, you know, as the, the client and on the live radio, I remember you saying this, like it was yesterday, you said, Sherry's working with people. She's out in the public. She's on the radio. If you put her in a cubicle, it would kill her. <laughs> I said, yes, yes, I agree. I agree. I need that interaction. And I'm a helper too. I want to help people if they have a, a problem. And as a trainer, if they have a, um, you know, a physical issue, then I'm like, oh, well, let me show you what to do to help that. And, and same thing with goal setting and, and being motivated. Oh, let me help you. And 
yes, if I was in a cubicle, I would die. So, <laughs> and me too, and me too. Yeah, and so, with that, own. though, let me let me just touch on that. That's that's a good point. So, I also was certified in a behavioral uh, program, uh, behavioral style program. We are all born with a behavior. Because you'll hear people say, well, you know, I have three children and I raise them all the same, but they're all different. And that's because they are born with a certain behavioral style. So in that situation, you end up raising them how they, not that they want to be raised, but how they show up. So you can have a very compliant child and easy to raise and, and another defiant so here's what I learned, um, and I use the DISC profile system, and it's D is dominant, I is influential, and her, <laughs> that's what we are, S is steadiness, which is supportive, that's me, and that's her, mm -hmm. and C is conscientious, and so in that, you learn your behavioral style, and you learn how to get along with others as well. So you learn how to get along with your coworkers, your boss, your kids, your friends, whoever you might come into contact with. And you, and so this was a huge awakening for me and um, and my clients. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it was wonderful. And then too, I thought, what am I going to coach in? How could I coach a CEO? You know, I mean, yeah, I, I did admin work and things like that, but I never, you know, um, I, I never like worked in a position where I ran a company or anything. Well, guess what? I didn't have to know what he did in that position, in that position that I had, I would draw what he wanted to achieve, mm -hmm. you know, what he wanted to accomplish, not me. Mm -hmm. And I would just help guide him there or her or whoever, or even a, someone over 50 and looking to find out what do I want to do when I grow up? Same situation. It didn't matter what you were doing in your life. Mm -hmm. So um, a good thing to do is maybe hire a personal professional coach. I yeah. no longer do that, right. but um, you know, I found. Um, but ladies, you can contact me and I can get you uh, information yeah. on that. So, yeah. so it's not yeah. too late because you started at age 46. So ladies listening uh, to this, watching this, I want to encourage you that if you're over 50, it's still not too late. So maybe you had the same career for uh, your entire life. Now mm -hmm. you're getting ready to retire and you're thinking, well, now what? What do I do now? So some um, some personal development and, and attaining new skill sets. So a lot of people are like, well, this is all I've done. I've been an accountant my whole life or I've done, you know, bookkeeping or I've done, I worked in a factory my whole life. What do I know how to do? Well, this is a great opportunity. And another thing with books, I always suggest people go to the library because you can look up so many things online, but getting into the library, everything is free and you just mm -hmm. can just flip through different books just to see what catches your eye and mm -hmm. it don't cost you anything. And, and then when you come across the, a book that's on the shelf and it inspires you, maybe it's cake decorating, maybe it's um, sewing, maybe it's um, becoming an entrepreneur and starting a business, maybe, you know, you never know. So uh, yeah, check out the library too. So that's my little yeah. You know, and seasons change in our life. So at 50, it's what do I do now? My children are grown, you know, um, and for some, maybe you're retiring. Look at what have you been so passionate about your whole life and you were able, never able to do for whatever reason it might be. Yeah. So I even switched um, and I went after, so I loved coaching. Oh my gosh, did it for 10 years, eight years seriously. I created um, little um, classes that we had and it was really great. And I worked with everyone, whether it was corporate, personal, whatever it might be. Um, and that was wonderful as well. And so I was kind of done with that. And I thought, okay, now what do I want to do? Well, then I was so into health and wellness. I loved it. I, uh, I had an autoimmune disease at, um, let's see, I think I was 38. And I thought, okay, I'm not going to let this, you know, run my life, this disease, I'm going to get into health and wellness and figure that out to stay healthy. 
And I've done that. And my doctors have been, you know, very, very intrigued by that. So now I'm into health and wellness. And I guess you could say I, I'm a health and wellness coach, but yeah. also with a product. Yeah. And it's um, working with stem cell rejuvenation. And I love it. I love yeah. it. I'm so passionate. Do something that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And if you need help with that, you know, call Sherry or you know what, you could even call me and we do a little 15 minute call and I could help give you some direction in that. I'd be happy to do that. Yeah, let's hope I don't get a hundred calls. So. so you, I want to celebrate you because at 69, you still hike, you still water ski, you still, <laughs> you do all these activities and um, pickleball. And, uh, pickleball and uh, very active. So that is great that you do that. But you haven't had um, an extremely easy road. You've had a great attitude, but your husband went through some major health issue. And you um, were right there going through that with him. Um, do you mind sharing just a little bit of that real quick? Oh, no, not at all. No. Uh, my husband, uh, he, has, he had uh, a kidney disease. And uh, it's hereditary in his family. And so... Um, we, when he was 55, 56, uh, he ended up needing a kidney transplant, which was from his best friend since third grade. They were a perfect match. So we went through all of that and um, it was a huge success. And then, uh, you know, from that, he did develop cancer, unfortunately, from the medication that he was on, anti-rejection medication that he was on. And so, you know, we've been kind of dealing with that, but he's been doing well. We just research, 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 research what you can do, you know, to help yourself in any situation. It's all out there. And uh, yeah, so, and, and now he's 15 years, he's had it his new kidney and he's doing really well. Does he have little health issues here and there? Yes, but he's doing good. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for sharing that because, uh, and you went back to the research research. So again, I wanna encourage everyone to uh, research and find uh, if you have an issue or going through an issue, uh, find out what you can um, learn on your own. And then if you're looking to um, for more self-development, uh, again, looking and watching videos like this, because just the things that you've said today has uh, inspired and motivated um, a lot of people, I'm sure. So um, again, do you have uh, one last tip that you can give us on personal development? Let's see. I guess I could say don't overthink. Okay. And yes, and also, this is, this is what I used to say to my clients. To think is to create. If you think you're that way, you'll create it. So it could go to Either a positive way. side or negative. <laughs> yes, like I think I'm going to fail at this. <laughs> or I think I can throw this into something big. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, yeah. 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 But I if you are majorly it. struck, or I'm sorry, stuck, if, uh, and you're just like, oh, what am I going to do when I grow up? I would highly recommend a coach. Mm -hmm. Don't go to your friends. Don't go to your sisters, your brother, your parents. You know, they know you too well. They think right. they know you, but they could stop you from doing your passion. Yeah. Either way, they might tell you, um, what oh you're 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 a great singer you should do that for a living <laughs> you may not be or you may be a really good singer and have a, a vision of of exploring that as a career and then he's like well there's a lot of competition out there you know you know and you might not make a good living at that you know so right. yeah, you're right go go to the coach I'll leave my, leave my contact information down below but Dan I want to thank you so much for all your little gems of information that can inspire and motivate us all Thank you. Thank so you, much. Sherry. You have always been a huge inspiration to me as well. We've known each other for a long time, maybe 15 years. 2005. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So we go, we go way back. And I, what I love about our relationship, and I also would want to maybe recommend this, sorry, is that um, reach out maybe to your friends. Sometimes people can see you 
better than you can see yourself Mm -hmm. and just say, oh, I was thinking about doing this or thinking about doing that. And if you don't get the answer that you want, don't give up, Right, but don't give up. And I would suggest finding a coach for yourself because it's not your whole life. You could do it for two months, three months and be well on your way and jumpstart you into that next level. Yeah. Yeah, Or go after your passion, whatever you're passionate about. If it's health and wellness, which is a path that I chose to take because Mm -hmm. I was always passionate about that, but didn't believe in myself until after I became a coach. And then I was like, woohoo. Yeah. (laughs) I can do anything. (laughs) Yeah. That sounds great. Well, thank you again so much. And uh, thank you ladies for coming back and watching the videos all the way to the end. Appreciate it. It helps grow the channel if you give it a thumbs up and uh, share this video with your friends. And as always, I want to remind you, try something new. Start where you are with what you have. And I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for having me.